Hello and welcome. In this video cast, we're looking at social problems associated with alcohol and other drugs. So let's take a look at some of the main issues. First of all, there is a lot of variation in the understanding of acceptable and unacceptable drug use. You need to realize that most societies regard the use of some psychoactive drugs as acceptable, while regarding the use of other types as strictly forbidden. Placing drugs in a socio-historical perspective will help you grasp how the social sanctioning of drug use is inconsistent and changing over time. Think about why we regard some drugs as harmful and outlaw them, like heroin, while at the same time we continue to tolerate the legal use of other drugs that we know to be damaging, like alcohol. Now, here's a controversial question for you to consider as you read Chapter 8. Does the widespread availability of drugs, both legal and illegal, serve to placate the socioeconomically disadvantaged people in our society, especially the unemployed and underemployed, such that they are less likely to threaten social stability? Like I said, it's controversial, but give it some thought. Another issue to consider, one hypothesis is that very prominent, very prominent in the substance abuse, abuse field is that alcoholism and possibly other addictions are diseases that victimize people and that can be cured by the intervention of professionals such as psychologists, social workers, and substance abuse counselors. If you want to be skeptical of this for a moment, just for a moment, consider the possibility that the disease model is an ideology that protects and justifies the dominant role of these professionals in dealing with the problem of alcoholism, for example. Most of you will view the effects of drugs solely in terms of their physiological implications, addiction, dependence, etc. You're probably less likely to have thought about how learning and social interaction play important roles in how people respond to particular drugs. Howard Becker's classic research on learning to recognize the effects of marijuana, see Becker's book, Outsiders, Studies in the Sociology of Deviants, is an excellent basis for discussion of this issue. You'll read more about Becker's work in this chapter. And then lastly, consider that the media has had an important influence on people's attitudes toward alcohol and other drugs. The next time you're watching television programs and commercials, Take a look at how drug and alcohol use is presented to viewers. For example, you might note the number of times males and females uh, appear in beer commercials, the ways in which sexual images are combined with drinking beer, or the extent to which stars or athletic figures promote drinking beer and, and wine commercials. You might also notice during many television dramas the extent to which drinking takes place as a normal part of daily life. For example, how often people are seen drinking, offer to drink, have open bars in their homes, drink with a meal, or drink and drive. So that's chapter 8, just the highlights. And just some things to think about when you're reading. Things that make you go, hmm. So read through the chapter, consider watching some television and thinking about how alcohol and other drug use is displayed, and of course, head on over to the discussion, for, discussion forum for some neat talk about this controversial subject. And I'll see you online.